what's up it's your favorite buy on a budget diamond k welcome back to my channel unless you're new here in which case if you are new here go ahead and make yourself a home okay sis there are drinks in my fridge and you can go ahead and put your coats on my bed get comfortable because today i'm going to be showing you guys my diy aesthetic clay ring collection so let's get right into it Alright, that is real fast before we get into it. Just a couple things. First things first, let me go ahead and plug myself. So make sure you follow all of my socials if you haven't already. That's the best way to keep up with the baddie on a budget lifestyle, okay? And my TikTok is the number one place for all the where to buy cheap videos. I basically covered every clothing topic on there and more. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. And then just follow me on Instagram if you want to be besties and keep up with my looks and all that stuff. And yeah, really, let's just get into it. So this is my Aesthetic Clay Ring Collection. I probably should have cleaned it up ugh, a little bit. I didn't put all the rings sitting up right here give me one moment um so as i'm getting these let me talk about it so i just ended up making these i saw these rings on aliexpress and i was like those are so cute but i'm not trying to wait till december to get them i'm really not i'm not in the mood for that so i was like you know what i can make basically anything as well and especially if it's just palm or clay i used palm or clay in the past i'm pretty crafty so like if i want some something i can usually figure out how to make it because i grew up making miniatures so really it's like same deal but different size so here's my collection as of right now guys it's maybe been like three months one day i just decided i was tired of being scared and bored in the house got in my car and drove to hobby lobby got some clay and got to work and it found out it was really easy for me actually and i guess maybe i kind of have like a calling or something for this i don't know I got something for it. Yeah, so let's just get into it. A lot of the old ones have already broken. I've had some other ones that are really cute, but they've broken, so they're gone. I can make them again if I wanted to. Wait, I mean, if they're not here, I probably won't ever make them again just because, like, they would be here now. But let me get a little bit closer to y'all, so. Sorry if my head is cut off. It's about the rings today, though. So before we get into that, though, I just want to show you guys this. Me and my bestie, we made cauldrons the other day. So here's mine. I'm sorry, I'm so pleased with how it turned out. Is that not so cute? Ooh, oh my gosh, I'm just so pleased. Because all I did was mix yellow and green together. I just had like an inkling. I was like, it's what you should do. And the top came out looking like some actual witch concoction or something. So I'm really happy about that. And if you guys want a tutorial on a specific type of ring, let me know. Eventually, I'll start doing tutorials on TikTok probably. Let me know how you feel about these because I kind of want to sell them. But I'm trying to gauge public opinion because, you know, I'm not trying to sell something if nobody wants it. Um, but I do really enjoy doing this and I would love to make it a little business picture. So I made this frog yesterday and I'm so pleased with how it turned out. I just like the eyes are so cute. All of this is just clay. This is a jack-o'-lantern. I also made this last night and I'm really pleased with how he turned out. He's so cute to me. Is he not the cutest? Hi! Oh my gosh guys. And I like the way it looks on the back too. I don't know. Some of them come out looking quality and some of them come out looking goofy. Sometimes they make me mad. Sometimes I have to revise it. So I like to consider some of them like the rough draft. But if it's not cute but I like the concept, I'm gonna keep going. I was trying to make a flower originally but they didn't look good so I ended up making the jack-o'-lantern. And its face is just made out of Sharpie. But yeah, here's the jack-o'-lantern ring. And also, guys, if you are really interested in buying some, let me know which ones you would want me to list the most. Because I highly doubt I would sell all of these kinds. So I made a little donut collection. This is um, a concept I came up with myself. I mean, I'm sure others have made this as well. But, like, I like this part because originally I had made just one big fat donut. But then I realized, like, I'm never going to wear that. It's not functional. I don't want my fingers to be, like, spread this wide apart when I'm going to class and stuff. So I want one that's, like, feasible. And this is probably my favorite ring out of all of them. Like, it fits my fingers so well. Um, some of them come out too big when you make them and this one fits my fingers so well and I just don't really see any flaws that I could tear into myself about so I love this one a lot and then I also have two other versions this one is just really thick so otherwise I would probably like it a lot too but it's just so thick look how thick it is like come on it's just also it's big so I do feel like it's less functional but they do look cute together and then this one's the same width of the other one but it doesn't have that little tan patch right here and some reason this just doesn't, does not hit the same but it is cute I would definitely be interested in selling the donuts if you guys want because in my opinion these are just little cute quirky rings they're very low maintenance like I can easily wear these hey baddies it's a different day because I'm almost done editing this video and I've already made a decent amount more so I just want to show you them real fast so I started making some Nike rings so here's a baby blue let me know what you guys think here are some more Nike ones this is a heart slash 
I don't know, they don't have names. So I made this one originally, but I don't love the swoosh in this one. It looks kind of messed up, so I prefer the heart one above. This one's probably my favorite. This one is for a friend. This is her two favorite colors. She don't know if she's getting it yet, so probably should not post this until I give this to her. Um, and then this one is just another one. I love this one because it's two-tone purple, so it's like dark purple in the heart. Or not dark, but like a low-key dark kind of. But then it's light purple on the sides. I don't know if I'll be able to tell up the camera. I've been planning on making a pink cherry for a while. I just never got around to it, so... It finally exists. This is a heart with the wings, angel wings. So she's kind of cute, isn't she? This one I made a few days ago. I'm not obsessed. I guess it looks decent on camera, but to me it looks sloppy. <laughs> I'm not trying to like crap on my own work, but I'm still working on it. Then here's this purple one. I prefer this one. This one's a little bit older actually. I made these with different methods to hoping that the turnout would be like closer to the heart as possible. But I do like this one actually a lot, kind of. And it fits in my finger really nicely. The yellow came out with like some dark black tinge on it for some reason, but you can't really tell in the front. It's mainly in the back because the back has this little spiral on it. I like the shape of this one a lot, and I feel like it would add a lot to an outfit. It's cute to me. I do like this one. And here's this one. This one's actually broken though. Two stars next to each other. You can't tell it's broken though, it's still functional. But when it came out of the oven, I think the way that it baked was weird. And I'm probably gonna make this one again. Right here and right there. Yeah. But it is what it is. So yeah, guys, let me know which one is your favorite. I've made all of these since I filmed this video that you're watching. Bye-bye. <laughs> and then we have the fruit collection. So let's just start with the strawberry because this is what inspired it all. I made these in my early days of ring making. I just was like, ooh, cute. Let me make a strawberry based off of something I saw on Pinterest. And I was looking at it a few weeks ago, and I was like, wow, I love this a lot. Like, it really just reminds me of strawberry shortcake. And then also... Around that same time, I made this one, this little orange, and this one reminds me of Orange Blossom. I totally forgot about her too until I made this, but I just love how they turned out. So I decided to make a whole family of rings. So let's get into the family. Next we have Blueberry. Yeah, here's the Blueberry. And I made sure to tear it up right there because they got that little like pucker thing at the top or whatever. I don't know, it's like a weird little pattern they just have on the top. So I wanted to add that as well. I don't wear lemon that much, but I was looking at her the other day and I was like, wow, I think this one came out beautifully. Same with Blueberry. These are mine, so when the backs on these look kind of funky because I'm just making them for myself and for fun. But if I was to sell them, I would definitely have them be looking a little bit more professional and uniform, of course. I wouldn't just give you guys a lump <laughs> on the side of a ring or anything. So please disregard that because these are just my personal rings. Here are the grapes. Also, when they have this shine on them, it's just clear coat. This grape is really big and it's got a wide band and I didn't think that was necessary, so I remade it. And I just haven't been able to paint this one with clear coat yet because some of them look great with clear coat and some of them look goopy. But I do love the grapes. My favorite part about the grapes is that they have a little stem right there. You see that? It's all about the details. Mm. So here's the grapes together. And then we have cherries. So this cherry was the original cherry I made. I like it a lot, but once again, she came out big. Like this is a thumb ring. This is a thumb ring. Dang, it's even big on my thumb. So I remade it, but then I broke the top off. See, that's where it used to be. I'm mad because I has these two little white streaks on here that made it look so cute. Like, so I was disappointed, but I will eventually make another cherry. The newest addition to my fruit thing is watermelon. I just threw this together. So it has kind of like a lot of extra clay on the sides and stuff that I don't necessarily love. I do think it's cute, but um, the execution was lazy on my end. You can see a little white back there and whatnot. And also it's not even, so I'm not obsessed with it, but it is cute. And then the last fruit ones I have are these two strawberries, and now I just threw these together as well. They're cute, but I don't ever wear these ones. And also they're a bit big, I think. But yeah, it's a pink strawberry and a regular strawberry. Yeah, here's this strawberry. This is just a little cookie. And because I call my boyfriend cookie and he calls me brownie. And so I made our little rings. And this is brownie. This is a cosmic brownie. Um, I hot glued on there because I didn't want it to be coming on and off. So it kind of looks silly because you can see the hot glue. But I do love the way the brownie turned out because just look at, look at the texture. Oh. Oh my gosh, girl. I don't know. I like it. I put in my effort. I was literally using a little thumbtack to make all those little spots. Isn't that cute? I'm sorry. I went in, guys. I went in. It's a little cosmic brownie. Boop. And then these ones are just some little twirls. This is green and pink. Um, I'm starting to really appreciate these two colors together. But you can't really see the colors that well right now. I'm wondering if my lighting is not the best for this. Oh, oh my god, I just got my hair in my ear and it gave me a really bad cold chill, sorry. Ew, that felt horrible. I'm fine. Okay, maybe you can see it better now. Cute, right? They're cute. I just call these the standard issue, though. It just is a little cute pattern. But to me, these are filler rings. Because if you're a loud person, 
you want to accessorize, but not every single accessory can be over the top. Just a little purple one, two shades of purple. I've been obsessed with purple right now. I don't know if it's just like trending or something. Like I know everyone likes lavender right now, but I really have been obsessed with lavender recently. I think it's so gorgeous. So this was the original peace sign I made. I made this like on the, one of the first days that I did them. And I literally, I love it so much and it hasn't broken at all. So I love it and appreciate it. But I couldn't figure out how to make another for a long time. They started coming out silly looking and bad and I was just upset. But I figured it out again. Here's this one. I like this one a lot. This is my second favorite. But yeah, super cute. I do love this one too. I love these two colors together. And I feel like the shape came out really well. Here's a pink one. Yeah, here's another pink and purple. This one's older. I don't like this one as much because that just looks ugly to me. It has that like little slab down under here. It's not one unit. Okay, up next we have the hearts. So here's this heart. I love this one so much. It just came out cute to me. It is really chunky though, I will say that. But this is supposed to be purple. It's like right between purple and blue. But I love this one. It's so cute. I'm definitely about to make some rings after this, I feel like. I feel like, oh, here's this heart I made. I threw this one together. I don't love this one that much. I don't hate it. But I've never worn it. She's kind of cute. I just don't like the way that the ring is shaped. It's got like a weird warp shape to it. And that kind of like turned me off. This is one of the ones that like I'm upset about. Not upset, but some of them I really don't like at all. And I'm, I get like irritated when I see this. Because I'm like, girl, I made this one early. Someone said on my TikTok that this reminds them of Dark McStuffins. But I didn't mean to make it like that. But if I did, then yay. Here's another ring. This is supposed to be the, the opposite of the other one I just showed you. That was blue and purple. I don't feel like this one's as cute though. This one's supposed to be the Powerpuff Girl ring. I've been trying to make that one, but it's hard to make that one. It's hard to get all the hearts right, and it's supposed to be small. So, and I can't really paint very well that I know of. I'll try soon. Like growing up, I could not paint, so we'll see. I tried, I'm gonna keep trying, but look, it's so chunky from the side. It looks like a cake, like a double layer cake. Uh, here she is on this one also came out huge so I mean, like it's one of my least favorites really which is irritating because it had so much potential but it's okay I'm gonna figure it out I'm gonna do it I'm gonna get the power puff part done so it's a little ring too I can't get this one past my knuckles so it's just like a top ring oh never mind I mean okay this one's at my knuckle it wasn't supposed to be this color it was supposed to be light blue but it came out dark so it just reminds me of denim okay now we're down to a few here's my rose collection I came up with this concept oh! Wow. I came up with this concept all on my own. I just like looked at my roommate's roses he got from his boyfriend and got to work. But I think it's cute. This one's a smaller version of the original one I made. I made this one first. Um, it's like too big in my opinion to wear. And it's got a little pink smudge right there that I really don't like. So it kind of ruined it for me. But they're cute still. And then here's a little red rose. This one came before the little pink rose, but after the big pink rose. Cute, right? I do like this one a lot. I like the way this one turned out. Mm, they look cute on my hand right now. I might have to make more. Let me know if you guys want a rose collection. For real, let me know. I want to know what you guys want. Here's a few flower rings. I feel like this one's definitely missing a part. Maybe not, but it looks like it might be. And then here's the one I made recently just because I was bored. Sometimes I can't like get to the level of making like a masterpiece. And I'm just doing it just because I want my hands to be busy. Let me just show you all these rings at once. Here's all the flowers I have right now. Let me know what you guys think. Which one's your favorite? Comment below which one's your favorite if you made it this far. That way I know who my ride or die baggies are. I'm not quite done, but I'm almost done. These ones may have been like the very first ones I made entirely. Because this is the design I saw on AliExpress. And these are the colors straight out of the packages before I learned how to start mixing the clay. And so the colors I truly desired them being made out of. But yeah, aren't they cute? But they are cute to me. I do like them. <laughs> They're just kind of big. These actually aren't that bad. These are actually, they're staying on, okay. Oh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think. We got a, a duck, a pig, and a panda, okay? And I had a cuter panda, but its ear broke off and I threw it away. Honestly, if I gave these a little bit of whites in their eyes, like that frog had, these would be so much cuter. I didn't like them that much, but the, the frog with those whites in his eyes, that's so cute to me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I do feel like they have more potential. This is the original grape I made. I don't like this one at all. I probably will get rid of it because I just don't care for it and I don't ever see myself wearing it. And then this is a little YouTube one I made myself. This is a chunky ring, a big old YouTube ring. I did my best. So like I know the play button might look a little bit silly, a little bit warped, you know, but I did my best. I really did. So yeah, this was the last one that I know of. I might have more other places, but I don't know where they're at. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video then. And if you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below. Let me know which ring is your favorite. Let me know if you would be willing to buy these. If I was to open a store, let me know if you want to see tutorials on TikTok and I'll see what I can do in my free time. I don't know for sure if I'll turn into like a TikTok clay ring maker because I'm going to put YouTube first, I think, from now on. But I wouldn't mind doing some tutorials for you guys at all. 
so yeah oh my gosh i hope you enjoyed my collection i know i enjoyed looking at them and talking about them and if you did please give me a big thumbs up subscribe tune in to my other videos if the reception to this is good i will keep you guys updated on the store i have coming and let you know what's going on okay i'm gonna head out baddies it's one two three four o'clock i really hope you enjoyed this video though and i cannot wait to see you next time please go to make yourself comfy if you haven't already okay <laughs> but i yeah please get comfortable you're so welcome here and i will see you guys next time okay bye